2020, Logan was seen riding a horse William Wallace style on the movie Braveheart. Minus oh! clothes as he was on horseback with a little oh, inappropriate thank attire. God. Oh, thank God he's wearing underwear. Yeah, you, you, you do. You do need some help. Uh, I just like, I'm so thankful that he was wearing nude colored underwear. I mean, he's already exposed way too much. But one funny part is that he tried eating dog food and at the eh! Why? Like, but why? The later part received a machine assisted wedgie from his good friend, Evan Eckenrod. No, you're not. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, are they gonna rip? Are they gonna rip? Oh, that looks painful. And you deserve whatever aftermath followed that. Oh my God, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like how you come up with these things. Okay, just dropped 3,500,000 on this sealed and authenticated box of first edition Pokemon cards. I mean, if you don't know this story, it's pretty insane. I think when he originally made this post, people were probably like, holy cow, this is amazing. He, he probably totally thought it was worth it to spend this much money on first edition Pokemon cards, which are virtually impossible to find these days. You know, especially like the, the really, really, really rare ones. So I, I get it. I get that he's bragging about it and excited, but the reality of what actually happened, I actually felt bad for him. Like I said, I find him to be a really cringy person. So like, look, like if you haven't seen the video, if you haven't seen the video, it's okay, you can go find it, but we're gonna just watch like a tiny little clip here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Why are they so puffy though? They, see how they're shaped all? They don't look right. Oh, they don't man. look right. They he never right. opened them until now. Uh oh. See how, see how there's, they're like, they're curvy and puffy. They're very light. Yeah, the color doesn't match. Right. Okay, let's get it going. Let's open oh, one. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I know. I feel for you. Oh, oh, oh man. God. The thing is, they were authenticated by BBCE. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, why is it bending like that? Why is it bending like that? What's inside of them? Oh, God. The worst is what's inside, guys. Oh my god, what's inside? It's fake, bro. It's fake. <sighs> open it, open it, open it! <sighs> oh, I feel hold so on, bad, on, guys. You have no idea. Let's open a box. Oh, yeah, right? Mm. Yeah, oh, open a box. Ay, ay, ay. Why doesn't this one say first edition on it? Oh, no. The boxes don't yeah. even say first edition. Oh, that's right. Like this. Like this. God, just open it. What's inside this? Are you ready? Oh, Are you ready? God. Oh, oh my oh, God. God. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Joe. God. It's not even. Not even. Pokemon cards. I can understand if they were like stuffed them with fake Pokemon cards or non first edition Pokemon cards. They didn't even, these scammers didn't even have the decency to give them at least Pokemon cards. They gave him G.I. Joe cards. Stuffed them with G.I. Joe cards. I mean, I have to say like, yes, was he, was he crazy for spending this amount of money, but they were verified by BBCE, so why wouldn't you trust them? And in the video, it's actually BBCE uh, authenticators with him in the room realizing that they've all been scammed. I think the whole moment is cringy. It's cringy what they did to Logan Paul. It's cringy that he spent that much money and then never opened the box to find out. I get that would decrease the value and everything, but Ah, it's just a whole cringy situation. I'm with uh, Guinness World Records. I'm an official adjudicator. And I can tell you the following, the most expensive Pokemon trading card sold at a private sale is a PSA 
grade 10 Pikachu Illustrated card, $5,275,000 on July 22nd, 2021. You are officially amazing. Congratulations. You are officially amazing. Yes. You are amazing. This is the coolest thing ever. The funniest part here is that they're calling him amazing for owning and buying the most expensive Pokemon card ever sold. Like, <laughs> he kind of looks like Pikachu. If you notice, he's wearing the Pokemon card around his neck, decked out in diamonds and gold. But guys, here's the thing. He literally spent $5,300,000 on this super rare Pokemon card. Only 20 of them were ever made. And now he's wearing it around his neck to the WrestleMania ring. <laughs> I, mm, I feel like we need to spice it up a little bit. I understand uh, drone shots here are illegal, so let's definitely do that. Oh gosh, why? It's, I mean, it's beautiful, but what if- What? Landing? Is it landing? Uh, oh, you see? You see? I do not see the what drone. What if that drone Yo, lands and damages Man, something? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Yo, there it is. Oh, snap. Oh, It's right man. there. Yeah. I'm wondering if that was not ours. <laughs> if that was Jake's or Cage's drone. Meaning we lost ours. How many That's drones no did you have there? Oh, I don't know where it went. Oh, great. Oh, gosh. Sick. <laughs> so, Brendan just went down there to try to find the drone. It's hey, kind of rest in peace, Brendan. He's gone. He's dead. Brendan, uh, Brendan's definitely dead. Update, what we got? So, we just got a text from Brendan saying, I found it, ellipsis, military has it. Oh, oh no, that's just f***ing great. Oh, you gotta Oh, be crap. Me, of course they okay, do. So he's over there. I'm assuming the drone oh, is to the man. right. By the military guys, waving me the finger. What? What's up? Yo, he, like, I just, I literally, like, barely pointed at them. And they're freaking out. And they, this is a disaster. Yeah. Oh my bro, gosh. That's they don't know what cameras are here, bro. <laughs> Yo, really? Go they don't know what cameras are in Italy? Stuff. Oh, gang. You're so cringy. Now it's arrested? not so funny anymore, is Where it? Going? Oh, Jesus. Oh, What's up, gosh. Uh, the fly of a drone yeah. in this uh, area is illegal. No bueno. We must uh, arrest you for this. Okay. No bueno. Okay, He's so speaking Spanish Logan, to an Italian police officer. Yeah, what did you think was gonna happen in an illegal no drone flying zone where there's military right there? And then he's all like, yo, what's up G? Tell me G, you're talking to a police officer in a foreign country. You're not aware of their laws. You're not aware of the punishments for breaking their laws. Don't F around. Like the whole situation is cringy. The decision to fly the drone was cringy. The way he's talking to the cops is cringy. I go, so I'm gonna do it in my fucking Gucci jacket. I want to look good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like one of the Toy Story aliens' hats on. Just a couple of dumb Americans going camping in a suicide forest. <gasps> we got all our gear. We got a canopy tent. We're gonna say that this is some sensitive content. So if you're gonna keep watching this video with me, sensitive topic. Pillow sleeping bag. We're gonna try to start a fire, guys. This is definitely gonna be a thing. A campfire, not Camp a forest fire. Campfire, not a forest fire. Thanks for the clarification. Can I just put a quick message out there? Hey, uh, no. your ghost. No the messages. Forest. Please, please leave us alone. Hey. <sighs> okay. For those of you who don't know. Go research what happened there. That story was so cringy. What he ended up finding. What did he? Uh, I, I, it's just sick. It was a bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. If you watch this story and you go look at it and, and you don't cringe, then I don't know what's wrong with you.